Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions and in this video I'm simply going to talk about why I've purchased four GTRs by age 23. So uh, for those that aren't familiar with who it is that I am, I'm mainly known for investing in the stock market. I upload a bunch of videos on YouTube. I have nearly 400,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Um, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about myself and you know what has led to my success, I have a video that shares a little bit more about the back end of my story. So I, I want to keep it very simple and first of all, like many of you guys, the reason that I fell in love with the GTR was because of the Fast and the Furious movies and that started at a very early age. So I grew this huge passion and almost just like obsession over these GTRs. I purchased my first GTR shortly after I turned 21. Uh, shortly after I purchased my first house, I was initially saving up to buy a GTR and then I ended up making the decision to purchase my first house here in Arizona first. So the cost of living is definitely a lot less here than where I grew up at, which was uh, California. I'm a student at the ASU Polytechnic campus and after purchasing my first GTR, it was a 2012 Nissan GTR. It's like amazing, I, I, this like sapphire blue. Uh, I fell in love with it. I had it for a little bit over a year uh, and then I was able to make a little bit of money off of it after I sold it um, after one year of ownership. And that's essentially why I'm making this video. So one thing that I think not enough people are aware of is that you could actually either make money or break even on a lot of the cars that you know a lot of people might view as you know extremely expensive cars for those that really know GTRs they're actually not that expensive I like to expose people to the idea that these cars that I drive are not necessarily that expensive and you don't always have to take a hit when it comes down to the ownership expense the GTR that you see back there is a 2015 GTR it's a stage two uh, it pushes if I'm not mistaken a little bit over 600 horsepower um, and that one I bought it for sixty three thousand dollars right now I have it posted for about sixty seven thousand dollars and I could probably sell it for an easy 65 to around 67 within my area when it comes down to this 2016 black edition it's completely bone stock and in my area the cheapest one in my area with more miles than this one has uh, sells for a little bit over sixty eight thousand um, dollars I was able to buy this one for sixty three thousand dollars so I have quite a bit of a you know margin of profit that I'm able to work with when it comes down to enjoying it and then I can sell it on the back end if I really want to and the whole purpose of this video is why have I purchased four GTRs by age 23? I mean, the, the age in a sense is irrelevant, but if you view it as an investment, so when you think about like as a real estate agent or a real estate investor, so a lot of people focus on investing in apartments and multifamily homes. They focus on investing in a specific type of niche because they become very aware of you know what is labeled as a good deal and what is labeled as maybe not so much of a good deal. And out of the four GTRs that I've purchased, two of them have, or two times that I've purchased these GTRs, both blue ones. So the first one that I bought the 2012 and the one that I bought shortly after that was the 2015 Alpha 7. That Those two cars were ones that I was actually pursuing and actively looking for a GTR. This one, which is the red one in the black edition, and then uh, the silver one back there, were, were people that knew that I've you know, invested in GTRs before and they hit me up letting me know that they were getting rid of their GTR. So it's it's that simple. I obsessed myself about, you know, how much I wanted a GTR, knowing the different makes, models, and just tiers that they offer in this specific type of like car. Same thing when it comes down to like, you know, investing in the stock market. There's a lot of people that think that you always have to be trading, you know, the newest trending stock. That's definitely not the case. If you know anything about my investing style, I almost trade the same things week after week and month after month. I'm a creature of habit. Same thing when it comes down to the different investments that I have. And I do like to test new markets, but one of the things that I want to stay true to is you know, the, the markets that I'm already aware of and that I actually know what they're worth. So when it comes down to GTRs, the reason that I've owned four is because I simply have become you know, such an active individual who's like invested in these cars that when it comes down to the miles, when it comes down to the different years when it comes down to the different transmissions or the different kind of upgrades I become very aware of probably what it's worth how much I can you know buy it for and then what I can sell it for and it's as simple as that um, one thing that I just wanted to make sure that you guys know is that when it comes down to buying any car I've, I've told you guys multiple times or at least I've shared a series of videos that I try to always buy the cheapest cars and I present it that way I don't buy these cars in a sense to be like oh look at me I drive a GTR nothing like that I've made it very clear on all my social media platforms that everything that I focus on is as an investment. When it comes down to my cars, when it comes down to my real estate, and when it comes down to investing in the stock market, it's all about finding the best deals. So again, it doesn't mean that you have to start with becoming a professional in investing in GTRs, but it means if you've ever wanted to learn a little bit more about how to invest in the car market, 
becoming a professional in a specific type of car can really make the difference. So if you become a professional and in investing in Honda Civics, then you will know every single different make, model, and tier and how they differentiate due to you know um, overall price ranges. Same thing when it comes down to this car. So you can you know flip your way up to your overall dream car. And that's essentially just it. I just wanted to make sure that you guys know we've had a lot of people ask me why is it that I've purchased so many GTRs or four right in such a short period of time it doesn't come down to like you know I like them any more than anything else I think they're beautiful cars and I really do like them uh, but the biggest thing is I really just try to focus on getting the best deals and fortunately because I've become so like known for having GTRs I have a lot of friends that are you know once they try to get rid of them that I'm usually the first ones that they hit up uh, to see if I can make them a cash offer and it's as simple as that so I just wanted to share in a sense my success story when it comes down to investing in cars uh, I want to make sure that you guys know that I don't make money off of every single GTR that I've owned. The first one I did make money on, the second one, um, which is the 2015 Alpha 7, um, I broke even on that one. When it comes down to the silver one and the red one back here, um, I bought these as not really wanting to buy them. They were offered to me, so I was able to leverage that and it was able to negotiate in a much better way that I built myself a larger margin of profit. So not emotional buy, but solely just an investment. And that's really, you know, what I would a lot what I would you know, if, if you're someone that's just looking to get started, what I would really focus on. So I hope that you guys can hear um, or at least, you know, take my story as some form of a motivation. So when it comes down to looking towards, you know, investing in your first car, you can have a goal, but you can also understand how important it is to become a true professional in whatever market you choose to invest in and to become very micro-focused with that specific may maybe make, make and model for that car. So thank you guys again for your time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that or I earned your thumbs up uh, for this specific video. If you guys have not subscribed already, we'd greatly appreciate it. But most importantly, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about how I invest in cars and want to work with our team on a closer basis and ask those questions anytime that you think that you find a good deal, uh, feel free to invest 30 seconds. Click that first link in the description and we would love to you know, at least be a part of your success. If you want to learn a little bit more about investing in the stock market, that's that second link in the description. And again, we'd love to be a part of your success. Continue working hard, continue following your dreams, let your passion be what drives your success. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team. I'm on a new level. 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 Brought me a new shovel.